Hello again, boys and girls. It's been a while. Unfortunately, I've had a spot of hard drive problems, but I'm back and just rocking around on Toy Fort, showing off the new DSX weapons. You get these if you pre order DSX uh, Human Revolution, which is the prequel to one of the greatest games ever made and the most disappointing sequel but I digress let's not think about that too much really I don't want to think about it too much because I don't want it to be shit please don't be shit game after DSX 2 I'm not getting my hopes up but uh, I still don't want it to be shit anyway the weapons I'm holding now is the Machina as in DSX Machina who <laughs> which is a railgun rifle for the sniper and it is as awesome as it sounds first of all you might notice the tracer effect which does kind of give you a, a position away also you can't fire from the hip but what you can do uh, when the ch shot is fully charged go through two people at once like that <laughs> Not only does it have its own unique kill icon, killing two people at once, but everyone on the server hears that hooray noise. As I mentioned before, you can't shoot unless you're zoomed in. You cannot shoot from the hip. Now, this might not sound too much of a disadvantage, and if you're in a nice, safe place, it isn't. But if you get cornered by a spy or a scout, uh, you're going to be in a bit of trouble. Unless you've got the SMG, which is not the most powerful of weapons, you're going to have problems. So shooting from the hip does save your skins quite a lot. However, it does seem a small price to pay for this being so awesome. I mean, yeah, this made I don't snipe at all, I don't find it at all entertaining, but this I do find a lot of fun. Doesn't hurt that the thing looks awesome as well. Not as good as a bizarre bargain, but hey. Another fantastic looking weapon is the Spy's new revolver, the Diamond Back. Sadly, unlike the Machina, uh, this is well, it's a bit rubbish, to be honest. It's just like a normal revolver, which does a little bit, bit less damage. But if you successfully destroy a uh, building, such as a sentry gun or dispensers, what have you, with a sapper, you get crits. Yeah, so... <laughs> it's not something you do an awful lot as a spy, surprisingly enough. It's very rare, and... This is one of those rare occasions where I could get away with this. Usually I wouldn't be so brazen, but I wanted to show off this weapon's abilities. It is extremely rare that you find uh, buildings undefended like this, so this is not a common occurrence. However, they were aware of me as soon as I entered the room, so crits or no, I wasn't going to get very far. So, yeah, it's another one of those weapons which you're just not going to use. Which is a pity because something useful like the Enforcer, that has uh, possibilities but looks like complete arse. This thing looks great and when it crits it sounds awesome. It takes, sounds like God taking a shit. Listen. <laughs> Brilliant, eh? Boom! Pity, really. Unless I change it, I have absolutely no use for this thing at all. Speaking of useless, time for the engineer's weapons. <laughs> yeah, my opinion of these things are not good. Now, there's a bit of confusion on how these things work, and it took me a little while to figure them out, to be honest. 
because uh, the descriptions in the game are a bit weird. First up is the short circuit, which can zap rockets out of the sky. Like that. Blinking, you miss it. Watch. He fires, bzzz, rocket disappears. Also, the thing does marginal damage. It also, uh, on the kill, does the same effect as the cow mangler and the uh, righteous bison and the uh, enemy disintegrates. But other than that, useless. Why would you use it over the wrangler or the pistol? Before you start thinking, ooh, I can use that as defense, <laughs> it uses metal as ammunition. Same goes for the Widowmaker here. That also uses metal. Damage you do with it, you get the metal back, but it's a shotgun. It kind of has a bit of spread. At range, it has no damage whatsoever, so you get minimal amount of ammo back. And it takes 60 metal per shot. Yes, 60. It has no uh, reload, so I can see this maybe being useful if you're glued to the dispenser, like really, really boring NGs sometimes do, but I'm a battle NG. I can't stand still for very long. Maybe... Yeah, I'm not the person to review these weapons, but I think they are completely useless. Hell, even a camping NG who just spends the entire round sat behind a level 3 doesn't want this. See, metal is everything. You need it to uh, keep the sentry gun up and refreshed. Why would you sacrifice it? Sure, it's extra punch when you come under attack, but usually you're defending your gun with your wrench. So, I cannot see the point in this weapon at all. The short circuit I can possibly see a use for if you're defending someone else's gun, but the Widowmaker, no. Uh, maybe you could go along with a uh, along with the bomb and get free metal off that, but you're hardly hurting for ammunition as an engineer. Like the amount of pistol ammo an engineer gets is ridiculous. And it's a shame people disregard the pistol while playing NG. While you're being a battle NG with a gunslinger, it's actually quite useful. This three shots, three missed shots, and you're out of ammo. Worthless. Oh well. See you again next time, folks. Ta-ta.